I'm Romina and welcome back to my channel. So in this video, I'm going to be showing you how to make triple clone transition. If you guys don't know what that is, it's basically the same thing as twin transition, clone transition when you clone yourself, but it's not only two of you there, but it's going to be three of you. Before we begin, make sure you subscribe and turn on the bell because you'll get notified whenever I upload another video and I'll be uploading more TikTok tutorials. So you guys should have my post notifications on so you get notified and you're up to date with the new trends on TikTok and you're one of the first ones to use any new on that app. Also, don't forget to follow me on TikTok and on Instagram. They're all at Traminica4. Make sure you do that because I post a lot of videos and if you guys find anything that you want to learn how to do, just let me know in the comments and I'll make sure to do a YouTube video about it. Now let's begin with the tutorial and see what the triple clone transition looks like. So the first step is of course to find your sound on TikTok. It can be any sound that you guys like, it doesn't matter. But the thing that matters is that you have to have your sound from another device because if you're gonna be filming your video on your phone, you have to have another device to play your sound so you guys can easily make your videos without stressing out about lyrics, beats, and none of that. Another quick tip is to go to your sound, go to the videos that already have been made with the sound and just put any video because it's going to be replaying on loop so you're not going to have to stress out about like keep replaying the video if you mess up making your video. You know what I mean? So the second step is to film your video. Make sure you put your phone somewhere steady where you're not going to move it around and your transition looks smooth. For my videos, I use my tripod, so if you have a tripod, that's going to be really helpful for you. So for the video that I filmed today, I used my front video camera and I found it way easier to do it that way. Even though when you're going to be editing, probably the lighting is going to be a little off, but there's nothing that you can't fix. So now as you have your phone set up and filming you and your sound playing on repeat in the background, you're going to have to switch your spots three times in this whole video. So the first spot is going to be over here for 15 seconds of the sound and then once it's going to be repeating, you're going to be here and then for the last part you're going to be over here. So don't worry about getting your video perfect. If you mess up the first time, it's okay, don't refilm it, just keep filming it and redo that part that you messed up on. Doesn't matter which spot you're on, you just can repeat it and repeat it because you're not going to use the full video, but we're going to be cutting some parts and using them at the end. So I already filmed my video and it's a minute and a half long video because I switched three spots and I didn't film it three times, I just filmed everything in one video. And now to make it all 15 seconds long and make it into three videos, I'm going to go to edit and I'm going to choose my favorite spots. For example, I'm going to choose this part for my first video and I'm going to press on done and save as new clip. Don't ever say trim original because it can be like trim original. Don't ever save it that way because you're going to lose your other video, your long video, you're going to lose it. And now for the second part, for example, I'll just like... I'm in the middle, so I'm going to trim my favorite parts where I'm in the middle and then save this new clip and then for the third part, it's the same exact thing. So I already trimmed my full video and made them into three short videos, which are this, this and this and now to put them together and edit them and make a triple clone transition, I'm going to go to Video Star. it's the app where you guys can edit and do anything, it's an amazing app. So now as we're on Video Star, and if you guys don't have the app, I'm going to link it in the description so it's easier for you to go to Apple Store, just click on the link and download the Video Star app because it's literally amazing. So just go and do it. So now I'm going to press on plus and I'm going to make sure that it's landscape because that's how I film my video. And then I'm going to press on edit video. So now I'm going to press on video. The first video that I'm going to choose is this one. I'm going to press on make video and we'll wait. And now as we see this page, we're going to have to import two more videos and to do that you press on new, press on import video and press on videos and you have to press on the second video which is this one and import and do the same thing to import the third video. So I'm going to press on new, import video, videos and this is the third video, import. So now as I have all my three videos imported into the app, I'm going to press on new and press on multi-layer clip is where we put all those three videos into one video. This feature is not free, I think it's either five or six dollars, but it is totally worth it. I love using this app, I always use it for my slow-mos, for my clone transitions, for my triple clone transitions, anything. I just use Video Star because it really does wonders. So now I'm going to be importing these three videos onto here, so I'm going to press on one and I'm going to press on 
Let's begin with this video, I guess. And then I'm gonna press on at mask and I'll erase everything over here. There we go, done. And for the second one, I'm gonna be choosing this one. I'm gonna add mask and I am going to be erasing this whole part. There we go, done. And for the third one, I'm gonna choose the middle, add a mask, and I'm gonna erase these parts. There we go. Press on done, and basically I have this going on. So here are the three videos guys together, and I am noticing that there is a line between the second and the third video, and to fix that, I'm gonna actually go to the first video, and I'm gonna press on edit mask, and I'm gonna feather it because feathering actually makes everything look really smooth. Um, so let me do that. Just like this. Press on done. So as you guys can see, there's still a line. So now I'm gonna go to the third one because the third one is the middle one, and to fix the line, I'm gonna press on edit mask, and now I'm gonna feather it from this side as well. So let's see how that's gonna work. And just feather that line. Done, and now I don't have that line. That actually looks perfect now. I really, really like how it turned out. So now I'm gonna just press on create, yes. Press on exit and just save it to my camera roll. And guys, you just have to play around with the three videos and just go back to edit mask. It's not an easy process to get every line perfect. You have to feather, you have to erase, you have to add more. So just do it until you get it perfect because for clone transitions, when you do only two videos, it's way easier because you're not afraid that something is gonna be erased completely and you're gonna have like really bad lines because it's just one line that you're gonna have to erase. But here you have to worry about the three videos just so everything looks proportional and everything looks like it's one video. So now as I have my video on my camera roll, I'm gonna be going to TikTok to upload it and to put it with the sound. So going to TikTok, this is my TikTok by the way, follow. Now I'm gonna press on plus and press on upload and choose the video and just turn it this way. Next. And I will wait until it processes. Now I'm gonna go to select sound which is at the top right corner and I'm gonna press on my favorites because I saved the sound that I like to my favorites. Use this. And as you guys can see, I'm gonna just make sure to Lower down the original sound of my video and just leave the sound from TikTok. And I'm gonna press on next and of course I'm gonna just upload it to my TikTok and there you go. So now guys, let's see how the video turned out. So this is the end of this video guys. I hope you liked it and learned how to do the triple clone transition and if you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends just so your friends also know how to do this. If you subscribed and turned on the bell, go to the comments and comment done and also put your TikTok username so I can shout you out in my next video. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and I'll see you in my next one. Bye!